Well, there we are, uh, full time Arsenal 2, Everton 1. Um, I've gone inside to the media suite at Arsenal because it was a bit chilly and wet out there. But um, they got the job done in the end, three massive points. Arsenal go top of the Premier League. Um, it reminded me a little bit of the Everton game back in 2013, December 2013 it was. Arsenal were top of the league at that time and looking to extend their lead. Mesut Ozil gave them the lead, but they were pegged back by a Gerard de Lefeu goal late, late on. And it felt like this might go the same way. Arsenal took a 2-0 lead, uh, but conceded uh, just before half-time, a deflected shot. And then, uh, of course, in the dying minutes, a chance fell to De La Feu again. The difference this time, right by Petr Cech, who made a quite brilliant save at his near post. Um, this was a tired Arsenal display. I think the effects of the buying game were clear, uh, mentally and physically. The likes of Alexis Sanchez, well short of their best. Uh, Mesut Ozil, I thought, was superb. Uh, and once upon a time, if he was described as effortless, that would have been a criticism. But I think the way he played today it looked effortless. He played with such grace. Brilliant assist for Giroud's goal, who was super fantastic as well. Came in for Theo Walcott after scoring uh, four goals from the bench uh, over the course of the season and really put in a superb, sensible display. The full 90 minutes, great defensive work, great hold up play, showed he still has a lot to offer. Although I probably do marginally prefer the shape of the team and the style of the team with Walcott in there. Um, Santi Gazzola created the second goal across from a set piece for Lauren Koscielny and I think amidst all the talk of Ozil's creative ability probably we sometimes overlook what Santi offers I mean I don't think anyone's got more assists than him since he came into the Premier League uh, and even playing from that deeper role he's still providing goals for others and I think a lot of that is due to the improvement in his set piece delivery which was very good today less good day for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain this was a big chance for him with Aaron Ramsey uh, out injured but he looked Rusty and out of form. Um, I mean, Sod's Law really, it was him who had a shot that was blocked when maybe a pass would have been a better option that led to Everton's goal. It just seems that every time we concede when he's on the pitch, he's somehow involved in it. I'm not necessarily blaming for that, but it's certainly a, a curious coincidence. It reminds me in some respects of Ross Barkley for Everton, who had some good moments, some poor ones, both very powerful, both very technically accomplished, but not great decision makers. Um, there we go, another blight on the game, I guess, Gerard De La Feu's diving. Uh, I don't know how he managed to escape from that booking. I think there were at least three occasions when he went to ground far too easily. But overall, a great day. Arsenal on top of the pile, first time since, I think, spring last year. And uh, not a bad set of other results as well. Could Tim Sherwood and Jose Mourinho both lose their jobs in the same weekend? I mean, that would really make it a special one. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jose. All right, take care. Cheers. Top of the league.